So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of nomadic camera bags. And by huge fan, I mean, I literally own every single camera bag that they've made. Uh, these things are just totally indestructible. You can get all of your gear inside of it, plus sometimes even more. Uh, for instance, this big 35 liter, you can put like three to five days worth of clothes in here as well as all your camera stuff. But the thing is, is you don't always wanna be walking around with a huge 35 liter backpack. So if I'm not actually traveling, this is not the bag that I really wanna bring. So that's why I ended up buying this bag, which is the 25 liter McKinnon backpack from Nomadic. Uh, this bag does literally fit everything I want in there. I'm not worried about it falling or tipping or falling off a cliff in some cases, which happened in Sweden. Uh, and I can get almost every single thing that I want to put in here camera wise, plus even have a little bit of room left over for like some shirts and some socks and underwear in case I'm going traveling. But what I've been wanting just to bring my camera, all I've been really using lately is this sling, which is this cool like nine liter sling. Now this bag, I've been able to carry a surprising amount of gear in here. Uh, I've been able to carry my Sony camera, my 16 to 35, my 85, uh, a couple different microphones, my ND filters. It all actually fits inside of this bag, which is quite surprising. But I have been looking for another bag where I can carry very specific things that are just like maybe a little bit bigger than this. And that's where Nomadic has now answered the call with their new Luma line. So now this bag is the brand new sling bag. That's the nine liter bag from the Luma line. Uh, this bag is using now more of a canvas material. It's not using that kind of, I don't even know what that material is, like a leatherish, rubberish kind of material. Uh, this thing's still gonna be very durable, but it does have some really cool options. This bag is a little bit wider. It's a little bit skinnier. Uh, it actually has magnets on the lid, which is absolutely awesome. And it opens outward from you. So uh, you can hold a few different lenses in here, a camera body, but more important for me, I was looking for a bag that can actually hold my camera with my 70 to 200 attached. And that actually fits pretty perfect right in the middle here. So if you're only gonna be bringing like one camera with a big zoom lens, this is a great bag for that. But you can set this bag up however you want. You get two different dividers in there. You also have a cool elastic top here with a zipper it actually has two different pouches which is cool it's separated in the middle here uh, but like i said before it's got those magnets so it just closes up holds itself pretty good uh, it's got some pretty good zippers here these are the ykk zippers so you're gonna have a great zipper and then on the top of this sling bag you also have another pocket where you can put sd cards your cell phone whatever you want to put up there uh, and it has this really cool kind of like rotating side. So the bag is always going to be sitting nice against your body. It won't be tipping up and down. Uh, this is a solid little sling bag. I think this one's going to be coming in at like $119. So it's priced a little bit cheaper than the other sling bag from Nomadic. But this bag's going to be very handy for me for having different setups. Maybe if I want to bring two smaller lenses, or even if you want to pack your drone stuff in here, that should fit in here pretty good. Um, I don't currently own any modern drones, so I can't actually show you guys, but... They also did just put out a 12 liter version of this bag, which is gonna be a little bit taller. So uh, if you wanna look for something like that, that definitely would help fit drones. All right, so the next Nomadic Luma backpack is this guy right here. What I really like about this backpack is it's very thin. They wanted to make this bag as small as possible so it's really easy to carry for those just everyday carries where you're not gonna bring along like a bunch of clothes and other things. But they still wanted to make it to be able to maximize how much stuff you could actually get in here. But as you can see, it's a pretty low profile backpack. You can still have a water bottle. It also has a cool tripod mount. And you also notice here, it's got a cool side exit for your camera. So this bag is going to be absolutely great for if you want to just bring like your camera body and a bunch of lenses with you and just go go out and go filming. So, so let's get this bag opened up and see what we can actually fit inside here uh, and all the different features that it has. So, so the first thing you see on the side here is it has a nice little water bottle pouch. Uh, this thing can fit pretty much standard water bottles. It has an elastic mesh in the middle here and it actually can close up with magnets. So if you want to keep that closed tight, you can. Uh, by the way, this is also the Nomadic uh, water bottle from Lark. Uh, it has a cool like water uh, filtration system built into this. So if you guys are looking for a cool water bottle, Nomadic has these as well. So looking at the back, you have this really nice padded, breathable material. You do have your luggage pass through. So if you want to put this on a suitcase, you can. You have a really nice canvas handle uh, and your straps are actually pretty comfortable. This bag has been very comfortable to wear around when I was in New York. So one thing I really liked about when I was traveling with this backpack is this thing fit under my seat perfectly on the airplane. I still had plenty of foot room on the sides, uh, so it didn't take up a lot of space. So if you're worrying about traveling with a camera bag, this thing fits perfect in there. So flipping it to the other side here, you'll see that you have your camera pass through on the side. So if you wanna open up the side to get to your camera body, you can easily do that by just 
holding the backpack and taking your camera out and then now you're ready to go. I've always liked camera bags that have access to them on the side. Uh, more recently I do like ones that also have access from the top, but sometimes you do want to be able to just get to the bag from the side. So that's a cool feature. It has nice little uh, canvas poles on the side. Uh, you do have this cool little strap that goes through on the front. Now what you get is these cool little like cords that go through here. So if you want to throw the cord through the strap here, let me get it through. So once you put this cord through, all you have to do is take the hook that's on the one end, hook it down, and now you have kind of a little bungee thing. So there's a cool little hidden feature though on this bag. If you see this little pouch at the bottom, if you actually reach in and flip it out, you'll see that it has a cool little like tripod holder. So then all you have to do is take like your travel tripod, just stick the uh, legs in there, go through the top here, and now you can just squeeze this and tighten it down. Now you have a cool spot to put your tripod on the back of the backpack so you don't have to carry it on the side. Or if you want to just put a water bottle on the side. This is pretty sturdy and snug. Uh, I really like this feature. Way to go Nomadic for putting this in on this backpack. I've always wanted to be able to put my tripod in other spots sometimes. Because sometimes when it's in this pouch, it does kind of like rub up against your shoulder a little bit. So having it on the back, awesome, awesome cool fix there. So moving to the front, you'll see that it has these nice padded straps. It does have a little canvas spot here where you can put like a hook through it or a carabiner. Uh, the sternum straps on the front is really nice. They are adjustable and they do have like a nice little elastic stretch to them. So like I said before, you guys, when I was wearing this around all weekend in New York, this bag was super comfortable. It was never too heavy. It wasn't too big. It, it just fit really nice. And the really cool thing is that when I sat down in chairs, like on subways and stuff, I could actually sit down while wearing the backpack because it's not that thick of a backpack. Like this thing's pretty skinny. Now when you have the tripod on the back, obviously it's a little bigger, but so moving to the front of the bag here, you do have a little zipper up top here. Uh, this is going to be where you can put like glasses, sunglasses, uh, SD card cases, lotions, whatever you want to put up there that's small. It's not a huge pocket, but it's definitely going to fit your like kind of go to necessities that you need to get to quick. Uh, you know, you can put your uh, lens cloths, whatever you want to put up top. It's a good little spot. So as far as access points are into this backpack, you have the side pocket, like I said before, where you can put your camera. You can actually open the whole back. It'll flip open. We'll get into that in a sec. And then you have the top access here. So if you just open this top part here, you can actually get right into your bag from the top. Now, depending on how you have the Velcro dividers set up inside, it's only going to be so big. So like in my bag, I have like my, uh, my nomadic battery case. I got a handheld tripod. I got my microphone. I got my like accessory strap. But as you can see though, like the backpack isn't super big on the top. You probably can fit a camera up here depending on how big the lens is or if you have like a microphone attached. So if you do want to get top access to a camera, you could still probably do that. Uh, it's just a little bit tighter than something like the Nomadic 25 liter, but it works really good to put things up top here that are just kind of quick accessories that you need to get to which is uh, really awesome. Or if you're not using the top, this is going to be where you can put like snacks or like t-shirts or socks and underwear if you are traveling and you have that extra room. I can't believe I forgot this, but there actually is another pocket on the top. So you actually do have a laptop sleeve as well. Uh, and this thing will fit a 16 inch MacBook Pro. So this is my 16 inch MacBook Pro. It is going to fit. It's a very snug fit, but it has been designed to fit a 16 inch laptop. So right there, it's in there. Now, the only thing I will say is because the laptop part actually ends a little bit closer so that you don't set your bag down on your laptop. When you put the laptop in there, the bag is going to be a little bit more back heavy. And that's just going to be because the, the base isn't as flat and you do have a lot of weight now in that laptop spot. But if you are planning on bringing your backpack with your laptop with you, you can do that in this bag and it fits very nicely. Uh, now I did check with Paul Feinberg on his backpack when he was using his 14 inch MacBook and that one actually did say standing up. Uh, it did not tip over or anything like that. So if you have like a 14 inch laptop, you won't have to worry about that. But as you can see, this bag does stand up without uh, anything in there. So, so let's get the other part opened up here. Now, if you just pull that open, you now have access to your bag itself. So the really cool thing about this backpack, like I said before, is it is a very slim backpack. They've made it very small, but they've made it very smart. So as you can see, you can still fit a ton of stuff in this backpack. I've been able to fit my 70 to 200, my a7 IV with the 16 to 35, an SD card case, my Osmo Action 4, my Sony ZV-E1 with a cage, my Tamron 28 to 200, and my Sony Battis 85. Uh, that's a ton of stuff to be able to bring with you. So what is that? One, two, three, four, four lenses, two camera bodies, and an action camera. And then on this side here, you have like two different spots where you can put filters. So I have my ND filter up here. I have my other spot here where I have any like adapter rings. Uh, and then the bottom part here, you can put all your cables 
and uh, accessories. Your S, you know, maybe if you're bringing like an external hard drive, um, I have my Apple ID tag in there as well. You can fit a lot of stuff in this backpack, and it's still not that heavy. The bag is light as can be. So, like I said, if you guys are just having like an everyday camera bag, this by far has been my favorite kind of compact backpack. I've used a couple other different companies, and my other gripes about those companies is that the bags were good when I first bought them, but they wore out really quick. The Velcro got really crappy. Uh, they just didn't do what I wanted it to do, and they weren't that smart. Uh, this bag feels very durable. The materials feel great. The zippers are top notch. Um, and they just designed this bag to where it fits the stuff you need to fit. Now you can move these around a little bit and kind of resituate it if you need to set something else up different. This is just how I have mine laid out. Uh, but this bag has just been absolutely perfect for that kind of like I just want to bring a couple cameras with and just that's it. So all of these Luma series come in four different colors. You have the rust color, which is this orange one here with the kind of tan strap. You have the black, which is going to be black on black with black straps. Then you also have the sage color, which is going to be the kind of that mint green with the tan straps. And then also you have the stone color with the black accents. When I was previously down in Florida filming a video with Paul Feinberg, he had the stone one. I also really love that color because it's just a really cool gray. It accents different. It's just a little different than that black color that I'm used to using all the time. Uh, here's a couple clips of the, the stone one as well. So what I really like about this Luma series is that you're still getting that top quality craftsmanship from Nomadic. They're still very durable, but these things are just very compact and they're very well thought out bags. So if you guys want to save a little bit of money and not go with the like other bags from Nomadic, these ones are still going to be very good. Uh, if you just want to add these to your Nomadic collection, they're going to be very good for just kind of your daily use stuff. So I'm very excited to continue using these bags. I'm going to be more excited to be checking out the sling as well uh, because I have been using my 70 to 200 quite a bit and this would have been very handy to have with me on my trip when I was in New Orleans. Uh, but yeah, these are just they're super comfortable. They're priced well. I think this bag is like 219 and I think this one is 119 And I believe that 12 liter bag is $139. So if you guys are looking for like the bag to fit the gear that you want for like small and compact reasons, check out the Luma bags. Uh, I'm very happy with these. So. so anyways, guys, if you have any other questions on any of these bags, please leave me a comment down below. While you're down there, if this video has been helped, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and you guys will catch you on the next one. Later. Later.